and we hear the CS2020. Hi. Hi, this is, welcome to CS2020. Welcome to the HDMI forum booth. Um, I'm Terry Harada from Astro Design here to showcase a little demo of a HDMI 2.1 FRL switch demo. What's uh, the FRL? FRL is fixed rate link. It's a new new feature of HDMI 2.1 that's introduced in HDMI 2.1. Uh, it's one of the differences that separate HDMI 2.1 from the previous versions of HDMI, such as HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 1.0. What does it do? Uh, we're able to now accommodate a lot higher bandwidth with FRL, which allows us to use 8K, you come close to my which allows us to do 8K uh, video uh, through a single cable, which is absolutely amazing. So it has to do with that 48 gigabits? Yes, 48 gigabits per second uh, using a FRL uh, over the HDMI 2.1 link. So what's the demo here? So the demonstration that we have here is uh, we have a customized Tamazon workstation designed by Astro Design. Uh, this is actually outputting four HDMI outputs uh, in HDMI 2.0 form. Uh, it's coming into an Astro Design converter unit that we call SD7075. What this converter unit does is it takes those four HDMI 2.0 signals and merges it into one HDMI 2.1 output. So now we're now outputting a single HDMI output and we're sending 8K over a single HDMI cable link. And what are we looking at here? Sure, over here, this is a gorgeous device made by Panasonic. Uh, Panasonic made this HDMI 2.1 hub. Essentially, it's taking uh, a, a be able to switch between two HDMI 2.1 sources. Uh, we have a Panasonic signal generator generating a signal uh, over HDMI 2.0 times 4, essentially doing the same conversion that my Astro Design Box is doing next. What's it doing here? So we're able to switch the inputs here uh, between uh, the Panasonic input and the Astro Design input just by hitting a switch. So it's a switch? A switch. Uh, so maybe uh, can you explain a little bit how it's how is this chip made? How is this chip made? <laughs> hey. So it's a uh, ASIC. Is a specific very powerful or? Yeah, this is a custom chip. A custom chip that will go in a TV box or in a TV or? Uh, basically, this is introduced in uh, <coughs> a AB um, AB amplifier or AB receiver for multiple input switch to output to TV. And uh, all the bandwidth goes through? Yes, every bandwidth support. And what does this one do? Uh, this is a signal generator for full 8K uh, signal. Similar to this. 4 8K signal. 4 uh, HDMI 2.0 output. So similar to what my workstation is doing. Right. And uh, what is the Astro Design doing with this kind of box? Oh, so this is a tech called Tamazon. It's our brand new customized workstation. It has a customized motherboard on board. It's designed particular specifically to do live 8K video editing. So we have a very powerful system to do live 8K video editing right out the get-go. Um, Astro Design is known for their prowess in the 8K world as we launched the very first 8K camera back in 2013. Video editing? Video editing. Live, video, live 8K video editing. So, um, what do you accelerate to make this possible? Uh, Is we, like video accelerators in there? Uh, we customized the motherboard to overcome the PCIe bus exchange uh, uh, bandwidth problem that, that typically comes into effect in these workstations. Because every other workstation would be like boggled up. Exactly. No so chance to edit. We had to customize that motherboard and with our prowess with uh, 8K and this high uh, digital video uh, signal processing, we are able to design uh, such a motherboard to handle. Uh, and process. you can edit any codec in 8K or? Uh, is, that's is still, little... still to be determined with uh, what 8K codecs are going to be out in the wild. Uh, right now we can do uh, HQX from Grass Valley very, very easily. Which one is HQX? Uh, it's Grass Valley codec. Is that um, high bit rate? Yes, it's a very high bit rate codec. Yeah. Very high bit rate. It's like, kind of like a raw kind of thing? It's uh, similar to a raw codec, uh, but it, it, there is some compression that happens on it. It's visually lossless is what we call it. And which? Video editing application is supporting um, this. Anything that you want to use. I know that we've used uh, DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic. Uh, you can hook up a Resolve, uh, which we call Workstation Booth Control Center to to it. Um, Adobe Premiere. Anything that you're using today can be operated on this workstation. So it's not so difficult for you to hook into their oh no not plugins at all. and stuff. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, but this is a very specialized kind of machine. 
Yes. Is for the industry to use, or is it for content creators to use? Right now, we're, we're trying to still search for that, that base, so we think content creators can use it. We also have been using it for uh, AI and deep learning applications as well, um, as we can stack uh, essentially four GPUs into this one body uh, connected to the motherboard, so uh, we're able to do a lot with this workstation. Is it something like NVIDIA uh, P100 kind of GPUs, or you don't say? Uh, it's a, it's, <laughs> we can GPUs. use N NVIDIA GPUs on this, on this motherboard, yeah. And then, um, is this very expensive? Yes, it is. But uh, people who, who edit 8K movies would uh, We think that if you it. need to do live 8K videoing today, you absolutely need something like this. Uh, there's no other solution out in the world. So this is what we consider an only one solution at the time. It's pretty much the fastest video editing rig in the world. As far as we know, yes. And uh, AK120? Yes, we can handle AK120. Smooth, real time. Working on it. I'm not going to say yes. Does that mean uh, Tokyo 2020 is going to be using a bunch of these? Uh, we'll, we will be uh, using a lot of uh, Amazon stations within uh, the NHK workflow within itself. Um, so expect to see uh, AK coming from the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Um, a lot of that signal will be processed through uh, Astro Design and also through Panasonic as well. You have already a lot of experience with NHK? Oh yes, we, we are. We, we've been developing their cameras since 2013 for AK cameras, Astro oh. Design. So uh, we're a long time in the 8K world, in this high bandwidth world. Uh, Astro Design's always been at the forefront. So. For you, 8K is old. Oh yeah, 8K is an old technology for us. So we're just happy everyone's catching up. You, you, you're looking forward to the 16K, right? <laughs> well, well, that's yet to be determined. <laughs> All right. And what does this box do? So this is uh, converting the HDMI 2.0 signal times four out to a single HDMI 2.1 point. How, what kind of chip does that? Uh, it's uh, one of our partners that, that, that developed this chipset that allow us to do this conversion, yeah. Do you have mostly customers in Japan or you have um, actually everywhere? Uh, we're, we're worldwide, we do have global distribution available, however we are more popular in the Asia and Japan market. Because for some reason in Japan, that's where all the cameras are. Yes, well that's where, that's where the government mandate happened for 8K, so uh, with the government push for 8K toward for the Olympics, this is kind of where where it puts us? It's gonna be ready. Oh, it's 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 ready. It's going to be for amazing. For the Olympics, no problem. Oh, you guys are going to be uh, amazed at what happens at the Olympics with the viewing station that's going to be set up all over Tokyo. It's going to be fantastic. So we need to get our AK projectors and displays. We would like love you to pick up those AK projectors and displays. Absolutely, I think uh, it's coming sooner than we realize. So yes.